Welcome guys to another awesome location. Here we are, we have left Jimmy, Jimmy's Beach and we have headed inland and ended up at Lake St. Clair. So I'll spin you around and show you what our view is. All good things Lake St. Clair has come to an end so for our first time we were impressed and absolutely loved it uh, being off grid is what we do enjoy we um, soon learnt that no matter what we have to pack the kayaks we have to pack the long handle shovel um, else it was a beautiful spot absolutely beautiful spot uh, someone will definitely go back there again um, there is toilets flushing toilets there and hot showers hot showers there's, they've got timers on the showers uh, they do provide bins uh, there's no dump point you'll have to go and drive half an hour into Singleton if you need your dump point no drinking water. No drinking water, but we've got all that covered with our setup. Um, There's not a lot there to do, to be honest. Like if you've got young kids, um, there's no swings, there's no play equipment. Um, so, you know, unless they like swimming, um, you know, stand up paddle boards, kayaks, fishing. Boat, fishing. You know, if you like doing any of that Skiing. sort of stuff, yeah, no, it's a great spot for that. You can camp all the way down onto the water's edge. Um, or just just sit and chill, relax, yeah. do nothing. Yeah, you'd need to take a shovel with you because the safest thing is, is to dig a hole for the high side because um, the sites are quite sloped. Uh, we did drive around and had a walk around to try and find a, a leveler site, but they were all taken so all we had was a little tiny fold up shovel that someone may do um, the van wasn't perfectly level but it is what it is it was um, level enough to sleep um, probably the biggest thing no phone service at all Nothing. yes you are completely, completely off grid yep no phone, don't, no. don't expect to, to stay in touch with the world. You've got to probably drive 20 kilometres back towards Singleton before you get any decent phone service. So, um, which is a big plus. Except and, when you're stressing about work. Um, the other thing I was going to say was they do have some powered area, uh, but I think it's a first in, first serve type bases and then you're close to people you can't spread out away from others you can take generators if you have a generator um, there were people with generators but they weren't no. we went oh here we go 
and um, but everyone else everyone that used them were respectful with their generators so it wasn't an issue the pelican oh yeah oh yeah we had a you want to tell them about the pelican yeah. okay so we did have a uh, pelican pest uh, the first day the second day we saw him in the morning at breakfast and then he was gone we never saw him again so the trip the driving it's very nice and scenic um, it's a very pretty spot you got to be careful though if you do go out boating and you stop on the shoreline you need to be very careful because the lake is surrounded by private property so you could be getting out on someone's private property all right cheers guys see you next time